what we now do is we'll move the we move the the carriage back to the ink chains position and we're ready to put the cartridges into the uh, into the uh, in there itself now in this case we snap the we actually snap the the the, the rubber band that we snap the rubber band because the rubber band was actually uh, 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 in inside here so we, we, we absolutely know that everything's in line what we now do is just carefully line it all up and it's quite a it's, it's, it's quite a tight fit this you have to be a little bit careful here because you've got the four cartridges you you got the you've got each each set of four cartridges in in line so we just look here and just make sure we've entered each one as we go like this they're quite tight now now what I've done is I've put the I've put the chip side which is this side forward be careful not to put too much pressure on these little two bits here these are our reset switches so be careful not to snap any of these don't panic if you make any damage because you contact us and we replace as you wish but do be a little bit cautious here and now we've entered this down and we can now push them all down level the whole lot go down together and you can push them down as a group of four so we've got four here that go down so each one of those has gone down and in turn our four have pressed down here as well so that's now securely clipped in and it's a, you can actually hear them securely clipped in if you don't hear that click it means to say that the cartridges haven't aren't in the right position so the two important factors there is to make sure that the elastic band has been snapped away and that you've actually pushed the cartridges down securely now the, the final bit is easy the, we, we, we're just allowing the uh, allowing it all to to uh, allow the tube to to just come across here like this and the ideal position is just to have this support at the right level about here now we we, we, we swab our our cross member with a little bit of uh, of an alcohol uh, wipe you'll find an alcohol wipe in with your in with your kit and then you dry the little area of alcohol with a bit of kitchen towel just dry that a little bit and make sure that's nice and clean I've already prepared this for us and you just put that there that's a nice it's a nice secure fixing and then on this side again we've got a nice little clip here we could put our clip about the middle there just make sure that's nice and nice and tall we can we can adjust all this as we like now now everything's ready to go but finally we want to make sure that we've got this left and right arrangement fine so we will push this all the way across to the left now can you see we've got too much we've got too much slack here so what we're actually going to do we can we can actually drag it a little bit quite safely we can drag it up a little bit until we actually achieve the, this nice effect and we pull up our slack so that's about right if you see that amount there and what happens is we get this nice we got this nice action of curling up and curling across can you see that that's a lovely action there so we've we've uh, we've we've filled the tanks we've primed the cartridges we've inserted the little the, the little peg on this side here to make sure that the that the printer will, will function okay we put the little bungs on the top we've got our center support and we've got the side support all we now have to do is put the is put the printer on uh, if I can find the I can find the, uh, the the mains lead let's put this on over the other side here we are. let's go get the get the lead and then finally let's have a look there we are then the printer comes on it reads the it reads the chips and then we're fine now 
uh, once the once the printer has done all its uh, its initial reading of the chips, we can now start to run the printer, get a perfect nozzle check. Um, a good idea is to let the ink settle for at least a half an hour, so that all the inks, all the pumping and the pushing and and the pulling of the ink, we we can then just let the ink settle. Uh, 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 let's uh, let the ink settle for about half an hour, um, and and then you're fine. Now, once you come to actually do the uh, do the actual uh, uh, install uh, to to reset these chips, all you then do is press the ink change button once. You it goes up and it comes back. We can then click the left hand switch. You click the right hand switch, and then watch what then happens is we press the ink change button, and then we let it do its thing. It goes up and down, up and down, and then it receives its it receives its information, and then all the lights should go out. So we're just waiting for the lights to go out, and we can start to print. Let's just check, make sure all is well, and all, all, all the lights have come out. Now any, any issues you have with the Epson R2880, it's a, it's a reasonably new printer, and you may have questions to ask me about this, about this setup before you decide to buy, or as you're installing the system. You can email me on at, uh, it's john at marrot.com uh, remember also that the generic profiles and the and the custom profile information is provided with the uh, with the CD which comes uh, which comes with the kit so this CD is provided with the kit and it's got your, your, your printed instructions on this CD as well as the, uh, uh, the generic profiles and the custom profiles. Thank you very much for watching.